suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Should vacate the enrichment Hello? Immediately. Any test subject Are you? Ha! Ah! Dog, dog. You look um good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. OK, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. OK, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. OK, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? I've got enough space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just can't concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? All right, see, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. OK, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. OK. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh. 
There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. That's the spirit. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your tablets. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Hey, you made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? See the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go, team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead, Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two,
great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you.
Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Testing protocols. All safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Just pop a portal right behind me there and come on through to the other side. OK, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two, three! That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. OK, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow! I am not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open while your back was turned. Pick me up. Let's get out of here. And off we go. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um... Just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever, that's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. OK, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch me. Jump! This act. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. Just quoting God. Oh, look at that! It's turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. OK. OK, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. OK, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. OK, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. Uh, 
A A A A A um S. A A A A A C. Wait, did I do beat the jar pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural. Nothing more. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! no! Ah! Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me, 